Does evolution rule out the existence of God? Did you know evolution might actually lean on God? Sounds wild, especially if you're a materialist atheist. But stay with me. Barrow and Tipler, two physicists and evolutionists, say evolution takes 10 giant steps from a single cell to a self-aware human. But here's the problem. If we rely merely on random mutation and natural selection, the time it takes for just step one, it's longer than Earth can survive. The sun would go red giant and burn us up before evolution finishes. According to the calculation, the odds of getting one functional protein by chance, less than one in 10, followed by 77 zeros. That is one in trillion, 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 trillion. That's like tossing Scrabble tiles and spelling Shakespeare. Not once, millions of times, the waiting time exceeds the clock. Evolution runs out of time, uh, so if macroevolution did happen, against all odds, that's not science. It's a miracle. The funny thing is, people say evolution makes God unnecessary. But the deeper you look, the more it might require him. So, does evolution disprove God? I think it doesn't. This is not a knockout blow for God's existence. In the next video, we will discuss the proof of the existence of God. So, stay tuned, folks.